In the following tutorial, we will look at using the data analysis software to process some captured data, data that we captured in a previous tutorial using various sample rates. So from inside the data analysis software, I'm going to select the file view and I can see the data that we captured in the previous tutorial, Capture 001. And I'm going to double click that file to add it into our DATS workspace worksheet and we can see we have our source DPU and all of the signals that are inside that particular signal set. And you can see we have our high frequency sampled microphones, our low frequency sampled signal generator and our even lower frequency sampled temperature thermocouple signals. And what we'd like to do is to separate some of those signals into smaller groups so they can be processed separately. And to do that we're going to use a DATS processing unit, a DPU, specifically the Select Signals DPU. The Select Signals DPU gives us various options and the option we're going to use in this tutorial is to apply a named element filter to the signal. And what this gives us the possibility to do is to filter the signals based on certain characteristics about them. In this case, signal units is like degrees centigrade. So this will find all of the signals in our signal set which have a signal unit which is of type degree centigrade. So if I just connect a view graph DPU to the output pin of this select signals DPU so we can view our results and then I'll run the worksheet using the run button you can see we've gone from the original 18 signals to now 8 signals and these are our temperature signals, the 8 thermocouple low speed sampled signals. If we look at our original captured data again, we can see that we have various signals, including tachometer signals, which were not used as part of this data capture, but I can still show you the process for selecting those separately. Again, we use a select signals DPU and apply the same named element filter, but this time rather than sorting on signal units, we sort on signal name. And we have two signals, TACO A and TACO B, so they all contain the same elements of the word TACO. Again, I'll connect a few graph to the Select Signals DPU data output pin. If I rerun the worksheet, we now see we have two signals, which are the two thermocouple, I'm, I'm sorry, the two tachometer signals. The select signal DPUs can be used in the same way or they can be used to exclude signals as well. So for example, if we apply a named element filter and we look for signals where the signal unit is not like degrees centigrade and the signal name is not like tachometer, we will be left with the eight high speed and low speed analog signals. And you can see those here. We now have only the microphone signals, the signal generator, and some other signals which we captured in our previous tutorial. And what I'd like to do is to process that data now with a, an analysis. And the analysis I'd like to use is a frequency analysis specifically the auto RMS spectrum. So I'm going to add that analysis to my worksheet and I'm going to add another view DPU so we can see the results of the frequency analysis and again I simply rerun the worksheet using the run button and you can see now we have the eight high speed signals and low speed signals in the frequency domain. And what I'd like to do is to overlay these signals on top of each other so I can compare them all directly and I'll do that using the configure overlays option. I can see all of my signals here. 
I'll simply select them all, choose the overlay style I would like. I'm going to select the overlay traces option. And if I just auto scale the graph so we can see everything, you can see we now have the two microphone signals, some noise, background noise signals, and the low frequency signals. Now, if I move down to the bottom of the graph, the low sample rate signals have a very small frequency content, only up to 120 hertz. So they only have data up until the point of 120 hertz. If I use the cursor I can read off various values of the four high speed signals and as I move the cursor down you can see I can read off values of all eight of the four high speed and four low speed signals as well. And what I'd like to do finally is to save this worksheet so that I can use it again later or perhaps with different data. So simply file, save worksheet as, enter a worksheet name and save the worksheet for use later.